welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes, where we are back in our Fire Emblem nonsense, and we're going to go through some fucking, um, supports, supports but, Claude, like, we're not going to go hard anymore on supports, so you're going to, because we have other playthroughs of this game that we can explore that shit on. You'll see a lot of Claude, though, because, you know, house he's leader. A, he's a one-trick pony. Yeah, he's a one-route pony. He's exclusive. Ooh. No matter what happens, there will always be conflict. That is just the kind of lackadaisical attitude that causes more conflict among us than necessary. Yeah, I'm not leader. Well, so, but he's not wrong, though. House Edmund may I not hold meant to much open my soda, so I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I could wait, but I'm not going to. That's you, Lawrence. <sighs> cracking like a fucking can underneath Claude. They claim they cannot spare a fair share of troops? Do you find it acceptable to let and an Dr. Pepper does not taste as good as Fountain. It really doesn't. Like, their fucking syrup ratio is off. Such negligence. What makes you so certain the Almirans will not attack us tomorrow? If certain dukes hold back their proper share of support, it will only serve to weaken House Goneril's hold of our eastern flank. Calm yourself. I am well aware that the financial situation of House Edmund is quite exceptional. However, what you fail to realize is that they're lacking in troops. They're not lying when they say they don't have that many to spare. As it were, the Almirans have been nothing but peaceful since we refortified Fodlan's Locket. And are you aware that Margrave Edmund paid the majority of the costs for those repairs? Is that so? I, uh, uh, I, yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, information you don't get because you're not fucking leader. Because you're not responsible. You're fucking brash, dude. Yeah. Fortress is formidable as that. I do see your point. If House Edmund has already made its fair contribution, then that is all we can ask. Very well. I withdraw my objection. But even the sturdiest fortress needs soldiers to defend it. If we continue to squabble amongst ourselves... He's like, we'll fine, I'll concede, fall. but I'm still angry about this thing. I'd like to give him one hearty well, slap across the face and watch all of his hair just yeah. whoosh to the side. <laughs> right? But, like, in the same, like, helmet shape that it already is. <laughs> Like those little clacky balls, they yeah. all just <laughs> <laughs> level B. All right, Petra, I'm interested in you hey there, and Claude because fucking, you know, Claude? I've never seen it. <laughs> Where are you? He's in a tree. Where else? Wait, I'll meet you down there. It's good. Claude, I thought you were not able to climb the tree. <laughs> 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 Belly lands the fucking like on the grass, right? To devise a new climbing technique. I have much admiration for that. To climb is a skill with value. Uh, what can I say? I just... Okay, so I may have cheated a little. By using my bow to shoot a rope over a branch. Or a few branches. Or all of the branches. Every single there, fucking <laughs> branch ever known to <laughs> mankind. Like around the entire tree. <laughs> I am understanding. That costs more time, though, so it is not the best thing for hunting. But you are not harming the tree, so that is an advantage. I am liking this technique. You're right. I didn't harm the tree at all. <laughs> he looks so like... <laughs> He's like, oh, what, that's a thing but, yeah, people deer, care about? Yeah, yeah, deer in headlight. I see. I take it the people of Bridget have a close relationship with nature, then? Trees give us food and also shelter. And air. <laughs> that's probably the most valuable. Uh, do they know that though at this point in time? I don't know what any. They got magic. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> they have magic, but they don't have fucking a Glock. Oh, no. Claude just says it. Oh. Okay. Couldn't live. Okay, we have to go. They're aware. <laughs> when you go into magical territory like this, I have no fucking idea. No, like, that's, that's what fair. any timeline of knowledge could possibly be, even though it's like medieval fantasy. Like, right, but it's just like, fuck if I know. Yeah. How much did they put into magic and how much did they put into sciences? Yeah, maybe they just put all their points into magic, but then they even yeah. so lightly talk about sciences through like Manuela and shit. Like, right. well, medicine is for illness and fucking magic is for healing. Right. I'm like, uh, Which that's an thanks for finally making a distinction. Yeah. On such a fine day as this, it would certainly be nice to go for a stroll with someone. I wonder if anyone is around. Because walking around the monastery <laughs> yeah, is, must be so exciting. Oh, yeah, this is fucking my face. Such awful noises. Who, or rather, what is making those sounds? Huh? Oh, hello, Flame. Ah! <laughs> 
Wait, she was dies. She... <laughs> That's it. That was such a It gives you the Dark Souls game over screen. <laughs> you died. Oh, you scared me. You nearly knocked me over with that screen. Well, you started it's my favorite thing about this game too is that they're there it's like a lot better for these support conversations but they still don't have the fucking exactly like the right timing for fucking at least like right. character model shit happening they yeah. great on fucking like dialogue but fucking oh, yeah. like <laughs> that shit it's like oh, oh did she faint like, eep, yeah and then, <laughs> did, yeah did, like I, or did she just fall over i can't tell no, that, that is one of my favorite things, is the dialogue actually, like, there's not, like, a five-second pause in between everyone. Yeah. It's actually, like, yeah, natural talking, yeah. for the most part. Tiny or no, I want to be stronger. Do you have any tips for someone both willing and eager to grow? It's probably best to start by practicing your battle cry. <laughs> if you let out a good shout, you'll feel even more powerful. <sighs> You are a font of knowledge. Can you apply your wisdom and show me by example? <laughs> no problem. Just follow my lead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just imagining Seth coming around the corner and just being like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, what are you teaching her? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that's why I also like Raphael because they really do paint him as the like food, like foodie kind of dumbass. Yeah. And fucking, he is still intelligent in his own way. He's just the skills he put points into. Uh, right. And, like he, he's not willing to like just be like, yes, that was perfect. He's like, <laughs> like is it? it just, yeah. Keep working on it. Huh? Oh, um, I. Then, if you don't mind, would you come with me for a moment? Sorry, I'm also Burp City over here. At least your hiccups are gone. <clears throat> yeah, they turn into burps. <laughs> I take one sip of fucking Dr. Pepper. My body's like, fire in the hatch! <laughs> That's me with hiccups. I'll take a sip of my fucking sodas. I'm driving home. It's just like I'm hiccuping half the time. I don't even know why I was hiccuping earlier. It just happened. It was like, yeah, now's the yeah, time. No. Like, okay. Just take my hand. That's it. And touch you. Oh, for, sorry about these stairs. <laughs> 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 now open your eyes. Uh, the town is glowing from the sunset. Yes. So they went all the so, way from the dormitories to into the fields without and, Marianne tripping. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ignaz is great at guiding people. He's a <laughs> he's a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the hair for it. I That's like the, I like this feature, and I, I've never taken a picture of this. Shit. Fuck yeah. Eh. A party. But I like that they have this option so you can just fully yes. look at shit. I can't say that they didn't have that though in like the other Fire Emblems. I just don't remember. I know Mercenary Saga does. That's good. Myself, they only do it for when there's like full on renders like this. Right. Because you're always looking at your shoes. You never get a chance to appreciate the scenery. Oh. Well, do you? Rips off his glasses. <laughs> oh, I can't see. I'm just thinking, how do people hate Ignatz? He's so nice. I know. I literally, he's literally a golden retriever. Yeah, he's so fucking thoughtful. Not incredibly brave, but he's very thoughtful. Yeah. I wanted to share this beautiful landscape and helpful. Thank you. I. I'm not sure what to say. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I won't try to express this beauty in words either. Just look and remember. This He's like, whatever. Nice like, I just want you to enjoy your life. Yeah. Remember that I was here too. Stop no. hitting on her. <laughs> I remember Mary's like, I just straight refuse that part. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks for the suggestion. Stomps off. And he's like, that's fine too. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the trash. Got anything you want me to take? Me. Take me out to the trash, too. Uh, <laughs> Please. Just some old study notes of mine. Wow, that's quite the pile there. You sure it's all fine to throw away? Of course. 
It's all safely stored in my brain now. If I concentrate, I can access any of it with ease. Why am I not surprised? I wish I had even half your power of concentration. Okay, here we go. Ugh. This is pretty heavy. Well, it'll be a good workout. Oh, but you were telling me not to take my training so lightly. Still, can't hurt to get a little exercise in. I'll just take it at a run. See you later. Hmm. Hmm? What is it, Lysithia? Was there something in that pile of paper you wanted to hang on to after all? Because too bad no, it's all burned. That's not it. <laughs> There's just something I want to say to you. I'm sorry for saying your way of doing things was inefficient. You've clearly grown plenty strong doing things as you have. Not to mention, multitasking and training in that way surely presents interesting challenges. <laughs> well, sure. But if everyone has their own methods, then your methods aren't wrong either. All you did was share- Turns out, methods. we're all individual people, <laughs> right? Who would've thought? It's probably Something that works for you might not work for me. Something I had to fucking around to my brother. To throw into I also like how Lysithia, who is 14, <laughs> has- more grace than adults. Oh yeah. Being like, I'm sorry, I was wrong. God, it's the twenties. Twenties suck, especially when you're like some of your friends are like mid twenties and you're like late twenties. Yeah. Because like you've kind of grown and you're like, okay, I'm almost thirty. Like I kind of know who I am now mm -hmm. and I know what I want from people, and fucking. Like, I don't know how I want to treat people. And then they just don't fucking, like, the younger ones don't get it. And fucking are just assholes and all self-centered. And it's just fucking, like, oh, it's frustrating. And, like, it'll happen to you. Right. You'll be you'll, almost 30. And, yeah. And I hope you see how you fucked up. And went, yeah, I can see how they thought that. Yeah. Uh, when I was, like, a teenager... I don't- I think it was, like, my mom. She was telling me, like, high school sweethearts rarely ever work out because you do your most growing in your 20s. I didn't believe her. I was like, well, no, you do the most growing when you're a teenager because you figure out who you are. No, you do a lot of growing in your 20s. Yeah, fuck, especially, like, like not to say- well, no, I, I would compare it to, yeah, like, the Great Depression. I was going to say, especially our generation with the amount of bullshit we've had to go oh, through yeah, in no. the last 10 years. And that's the thing, too, is, like, it is kind of equal to the Great Depression, just based on, like, the mental toll it's taken on an entire generation. I mean, there was a study that came out saying that we're the first generation to have a decrease in our life expectancy. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I went, yeah, fucking, if womp, there it is, just an official writing. Yeah, considering... Fucking, I almost took myself out of this world, what, 11 years ago? Everybody sounds like they have, almost. Yeah. That's in our generation. No, I don't think a single one of my friends has not tried to commit suicide. Yeah, it's fucking... It's dark! Yeah. Grossed out. I'm sorry, but that is not the overall topic of discussion. Do pay attention. Those... Are they in, like, Alice in Wonderland? Right now? This furniture is massive. Huge. It's because they don't know how to scale shit. And when they make it, like, just a fucking flat image. And this could be just big chairs, but fucking... Uh. I mean, even bookshelves are massive. <laughs> the desk is kind of enormous. You are, to be blunt, an impossible occurrence. For you to have a second crest, it must have been forcibly implanted after birth. Is that your theory, then? Am I some experiment yes, to you? It is. Lysithia the devoured her twin in the, the womb. Finally, some good fucking food, she says. <laughs> I... I could have one removed? That's what Hanneman is working on understanding. I'm helping him with it. Professor Hanneman. He's so Based much more tactful than you are. <laughs> of your Lenhart hasn't done his 20 years of growing. <laughs> right? He's still a He's stupid still, teenager. Yeah, he has 10 more years for him to fucking go, Oh, you know what? Because <laughs> even I think I was a fucking moron like five years ago. Like I was like, yeah, like no. I was more, like I still feel more close to myself five years ago than I would say ten years ago mm -hmm. but still like I was like I was a dumb still yeah yeah and that's just how life works 
It is. I mean, and I'm sure I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna be like thirty something and be like, fucking twenty eight year old me was an idiot. (laughs) But fucking at the same time, I feel like I'm. It feels like I'm kind of plateauing a little bit, you know? Like Like, growth. Well, yeah, like not because you always improve, but like I don't feel like I'm making like critical changes anymore. That's fair. Yeah. Like, I think I'm like, okay, well, like, now just be a decent person and, like, there we are. I mean, and, of course, like, I do reevaluate my choices and my decisions and opinions after, like, new information and that kind of stuff. Oh, absolutely. But that's just a part about being a human being, in my opinion. No, no, completely. But, um, yeah, no, my stance on abortion and that kind of stuff is massively different now than when i was a teenager oh yeah same but that's also what i get for being raised in a super like christian household well i mean i'm pretty sure that didn't really help me either but and that's what people gotta remember before fucking witch hunting people if it was like 10 years ago consider the person has fucking considerably changed yeah if it's 10 years ago yeah and they're not saying the same things now if they have changed if they say hey you know what you're right that was shitty and i'm sorry then take it and yeah. leave it because leave fucking, it alone. literally they changed being like you know i said stupid things when i was younger we all do stupid things when we're younger no one's infallible yeah like but not having the grace like holding up everybody to it like a very perfect standard and when they don't meet that then you fucking just cancel culture them like, like that fucking calm down yeah literally that's so toxic and bad it is and that being said there's a few people that can just straight up be cancel culture but well, they keep getting I mean, off scot-free but th- that's the thing is they're not changing they're constantly yeah. being a piece of shit so yeah that's appropriate them. yeah but yeah. like fucking okay. yeah it's like, things that were like I would say even honestly, like five is pushing it, but like five to ten years ago, that's that's don't like give them a like, hey, slap them on the wrist, and then when they say sorry, cool, right? They've changed, they're working on it, right? And I mean, you can like quote unquote monitor them afterwards, like make sure that they're like, like they stay like. Did you just want to act like a big sister again? But she looked real happy when she was helping me. And I think I'd like to see that smile again sometime. Stop being cute, Cyril. Um, and it's like, when you kind of get to know Cyril, because he's just kind of like a, like, fuck off. Like, stop trying to do all my chores for me. But, like, and then, like, you see him interact with certain individuals. He's like, oh, that is nice, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's like, there's, you can still watch somebody and make sure they don't slip back into their own habit, their old habits and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it's just like, don't be obnoxious about it. That's the, but I feel like a lot of these people that are doing cancel culture are young. Yes. And also not yet learning that people just aren't infallible and make mistakes when they're young. And these are the mistakes they're making while they're young. Yeah. I, I massively agree. Because I don't see, well, I can't say. I also don't run in. I'm so sorry. I just don't. Yes, I don't care about influencers and shit like that. No, so I don't run I don't in. Either. I don't run with groups that are my age or even groups that are younger. But no, I don't see any of my friends that I still like ridiculous. follow and stuff like that online. Mm-hmm. Make do any of this cancel culture shit. Like it really does seem like it's a fucking young and kind of thing to do. And that or somebody that's like too influenced by influencers. Yeah. And by the way of everybody else just like so caught up in like wanting to be like everybody else and the internet and all that kind of stuff my my stances typically are that sucks but also i don't care <laughs> like it depends on the severity obviously right and like the type but it really does become <laughs> like there's a lot of things that you just end up not giving a shit about you're like i acknowledge that it sucks but also like it doesn't hurt my daily life yeah. Or you're nitpicking you things unreasonably. Nitpicking something like that. is what frustrates me. Being like, oh, well, they said it in this kind of context. Being like, or are you just reading between the lines because you want to start a problem? When it's text, that's definitely something you can't even say. Like, well, they said it this way. Did they, though? Or are you just interpreting it that way? Exactly. What? Hey, wait. And someone being like, well, of course you would, like, backpedal. It's like, it's not even backpedaling, it's clarifying. It's, no, it's not backpedaling, it's researching. It's looking that, into yeah. all fucking angles of everything to make sure that you have the full scope and you're not just fucking accusing based on your own 
personal uh what's the fucking agenda yeah personal agenda yeah like i was gonna say like subjective oh, viewpoints okay. okay yeah like it's not objective at that There's, point it's cause... very subjective and you this is why like and this what frustrates me as an individual and i know not everybody does it but i spend a great deal of time fucking considering all the possibilities i consider right, how, how the person's gonna feel right if i say this thing or do this thing how will people people around me how will they interpret that right how can i make it show it's interpreted the way i intend it to be interpreted how is like fucking will this hurt anybody will it hurt me where are the outcomes See, like and fucking and so and people don't do that and like and this is the thing that i have to get like at least consider the people around you right like you don't have to plan ahead i have a just a super fucking fast brain system on what are the fucking consequences and shit like that but fucking literally just it's super easy to just consider the people around you honestly how will this affect people honestly though that sounds like so so much of a trauma response too quite possibly it's a response to pleasing people it's it's no, literally yeah. schmoozing response Which pleasing people yeah. is also a trauma response yeah of trying to like because i know i definitely do that where it's just like oh, please this- don't take this the wrong way which is why like if i say something that's kind of ambiguous i will send multiple follow-up texts or you You'll slightly you'll or, adjust it in a way that's like here's a different look at it like right. to give you like the, i'm not trying to say it this way and i'm sorry if it came off that way right but here's a different look and i do that and it probably is but at the same time it's a decent skill that I came no, out with really too at the same, like yeah well the fact that like i said like i can just spot unfortunately your thing you likely haven't told me but you're very unhappy about with yourself i can pick that out so fucking fast right but i've learned also how to just to pay attention to the good as well so right. the thing is the bad doesn't stop like i can't turn that off it's but just, i don't act on it ever look at that man he has high waisted hips yeah yeah exactly <laughs> but like you're fucking like like so it's just like it's how you choose to use your skills ultimately right and yeah. like fucking just be aware of other people you're not the only one in the world yeah and like how you say something will always be interpreted differently and you cannot you can minimize that yeah no exactly but you can't always like prevent it because see he's even apologizing yeah apologize is important and don't do what my mom does which is i'm sorry you hurt your feelings i won't say anything that's again. backhanded an apology i i actually almost called her out on like i woke up this morning i was like that's why i'm mad about it and i almost texted her being like that's not an apology you know you, you should have honestly you it's sad that you have to teach your own parent that but yeah i got distracted because the post office fucking pissed me the hell off <laughs> yeah they do that <laughs> well no, because I, I didn't even get to talk to a person. Really? They have changed to a completely automated phone system. It, it, I tried, and it's one of those, like, you talk to proceed ones. I tried saying operator and person and human and all these different things to try to talk to someone real. And they probably did it them purpose. didn't work. And I tried hitting zero a whole bunch yeah. or holding down zero and all this kinds of shit. Nope. Invalid. And I was just like, again. <sighs> Yeah, I I didn't have enough time to drive down to the post office and be like, this, I'm pissed. Yeah. I was on my way to train and I saw you. Well, to be fair, you can't entirely even take that out on the fucking peons no, no, that work that, there. Yeah, that I can't be mad at them about. Yeah, that that's just you work for the government and yeah, fuck the this government shit. said fuck me and <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm like, this package was supposed to have been delivered on the 30th. It's still not here. Um, Knock, knock. Where's my package? Yeah. I fucking feel that. I was going to give you guys a buffer because it's been the holidays, but now it's fucking... Annoying. Yeah. Yeah. The person I was talking about, the fucking... um... Is he... Wait. (laughs) <laughs> so I basically asked him out on a date but not like I, not really but like you know when like right, Sylvain like, let's says go let's go out. eat or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, that he like, only ever eats with girls right. so fucking that's why it's like you just asked him out on a date dude <laughs> but fucking um I know I stopped in front of them and a white circle around them Oh gee, something about crusts. Four or five years since I started here. This is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. <coughs> if I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. Yeah, you were saying, bickering old couple. <laughs> right. 
There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? That thing. You, we want it. Want? No. We need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now. I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. <laughs> okay. I have a favor to ask. And so you'll give me a silver bow. Ooh. So they literally just say the same thing again. Yeah. And that's a fucking entire conversation that I do not want to go through again. Yeah. She'll give me a silver sword. So. I feel like the bow might be more valuable at this point. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Give it to fucking someone. Like, I, I think... Because currently, like, I'm the only really sword user on the team. Yeah, there does, there's not a ton you of sword users. You got bow users, though. Yeah, you got more lancers than anything, because isn't Sylvain a lancer? Yeah. He's a fucking cavalier unit. But yeah, no, the package that, like, someone... I need to respond to them, but someone lost. Or, like, they didn't lose, but they couldn't find. Oh. Did we not talk to anybody? I don't think... I think we talked to maybe a couple people hold on okay this is an easy way to tell okay okay well there we go i figured it out yeah i think we stopped like halfway through i think round. i stopped in front of them actually now yeah. i think about it so i'm gonna go here first very talk to you fuck off <laughs> but you want the thing Professor, what have you got there but yeah, they the post office like misplaced it. Like, but they they did get to it. They were okay. just like they did find it. So like, okay. that's why it's like. But they still it was like in their vicinity. It wasn't right. like fucking still just like nowhere to be found. So right. that's why I'm just like they they fucked up a lot for us too this holiday season. So I'm just yeah. hoping that it didn't get like misdelivered and then like that's my worry stolen and like they didn't yeah. return it which like fuck you if you do that send it back return to sender or fucking forward to whomever but return to sender because that's a federal fucking offense and that's was... real fucking assy when like we order some duct tape and yeah, you like what the fuck like unfortunately they didn't actually get stolen but still like what did you want to accomplish instead you just super inconvenienced us yeah you know like or like maybe that was a meaningful thing right. to somebody. Like why be that the way, you that, selfish cock? The thing that frustrates me, it's seventy dollars worth of pins. Professor. There's like five pins in there. Yeah. And they're cute as shit. So if someone did steal it off my porch, they which were like, I, "This is cute as shit." <laughs> which I doubt, considering like I got the email that it delivered, and I immediately checked the porch. Yeah. And it wasn't on the porch. Like no, I think I got it from the the uh, mailbox first because. I'm like, well, it's not that many pins, so theoretically it should be, you know, small enough to fit inside, you know, the mailbox like Alpha's pins always do. And then it wasn't there, so then I checked the porch, wasn't there, and I was like, it wasn't even an hour between me getting the email, because I was home that day, mm -hmm. and then me checking the porch and going, where the fuck is it? And you're like, hello? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Obama? <laughs> Mr. Postman? Hello? Yeah, so... I fought with the stupid piece of shit, like, automated phone system that's fucking talk to proceed, and it's picking up Hamilton noises, so, you know, <laughs> that didn't make my morning better, because it would restart. <laughs> did, did I send you the, the picture that was, like, a Trump <laughs> meme? That was... <laughs> maybe I didn't. It was one where it was like, hey, Siri, like, uh... You haven't really sent me much the last two days. No, so. it was definitely a couple days ago. Was it so a that's why days I was now? like, but I know I sent it to Eric, so I can just fucking yeah. It, it's Trump that says, "Hey Siri, how many miles did I ran today?" And then Siri, "Okay, sending missiles to Iran today." <laughs> and then it's Trump like looking normal, and then like almost like the fucking like the the, oh, the when the eagle like snaps at him. Well, like yeah, it, it, that's probably exactly yeah. when that is. But it reminds me of that picture of the like little girl in the raincoat that's running. That's been like a fucking meme for centuries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he has that same ex like panic expression. Like, yeah, like, oh, yeah, shit. Worried. yeah. So that's why I was just like, that's awesome. Fucking, it reminded me of that. <laughs> You might say that. So I was just like thinking about your doc sending missiles to Iran. <laughs> God. Which that image annoyed me because I was like, why is this annoying me? Why is this annoying me? It's because fucking they use bad grammar to get their point across. Oh, right. Well, because they say, 
how many mis- how many miles did I ran today? You would say I run. run. Yeah. So like fucking literally, or you could have rephrased it as right. how many miles do I need to uh or like uh how many miles do I have to like like it's, I had figured it out at some point. I can't remember right. anymore. I was high, so I was intelligent. Yeah. But fucking uh. <laughs> I was on like sativa stuff, so it's just like my brain oh, has opened yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, and we have so many goddamn oh, paralogs. I thought we only had like two or three left. Yeah, they added more, apparently. Fuck me. <laughs> I know one gets added on. Well, I guess we are in a new month, though. That might be why. Because we did a couple paralogs and then we did the um, class battle. Yeah. So yeah, new month. Probably and I was like, I know there's a cutscene here. I want to see something. Right. I'll talk to you. So you know, know those yeah. uh, bandage that that bandage thing that you showed me, where you like wrap it around a wound and mm-hmm. then like it gets like bubbly over yeah. the wounds and it's like it's healing really well. Yeah. And it's pretty. It's like water resistant. That yeah. kind of stuff. It's not really uh, machining resistant. <laughs> it's already peeling up, and I know that's just because I've had to use my hands today at work. You know, it's just like ah. Eh. Well, I'll keep Mean- it on until it falls off completely. Meanwhile, my, like, thumbs and index fingers are all, like, losing their, like, skin, like, on the sides. Like, mm. they're, like, top layer. And I think that's the result from fucking those, like, 16-hour days of, like, rings when my hand became super raw feeling. Oof, yeah. So I was just like, oh, yeah, here's the fucking... Here's the repercussions. Yeah, repercussions knock, knock. from that. Yeah, wee. That's fun. Huh. Let's give a quick look over here. Your body will bounce Is back. It- I'm sure it'll be fine. I can tell. I just need like moisturize my hands and shit like that. So yeah. I make sure I regain feeling I and everything. Forget to do that, but my skin feels all right right now. So that's good. I'm bad at it too. Like, I'm thank God I'm not black because I don't look ashy. Oh yeah, I I did not understand that for the longest time, and then someone like posted photos and I was like, oh, that's what you guys mean. Yeah. <laughs> No, you don't burn it out of shut up. Look at my this is just like whatever. Uh, oh. Complicated love life. Is that Sylvain? For this. Okay, so I was thinking about this because we fucking were talking about this last time we played right. it. Right. And I was like, it's probably, I was like, it's probably Sylvain. And I was like, no, actually, it's probably Manuela. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I yeah. was like, I had to, I was like, wait, because I was like, so it could be Dorothea because she kind of fucking also has a complicated love like life. Trying to, she bounces she, around. Yeah. And then fucking, I was like, oh, it could also be, I, there was somebody else I was thinking of. I was like, it could also, could be, oh yeah, it could be Ingrid because like that was oh. her whole paralogs about that kind of shit. Right. And fucking, she would fucking absolutely discard that shit. Probably, actually. But I'm thinking Manuela. Yeah. We haven't talked to Manuela yet. Yeah. I think. Yeah, she's upstairs. Existing. Being alive. Moral of the story, though, this is a good place to stop. Yeah, So we'll catch is. you guys on the next episode of we fucking uh, play the game. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you just see a black <laughs> screen. So until next time. Bye. bye.